How y'all doing? <laughs> so uh, my name is Jeremy Tate. Uh, it says up there, I'm AOP 16 from the great city of Boston, Massachusetts. Um, I guess I got three minutes, right? Um, so next year, I said I'll go next year. Tearing through the various categories of YouTube, I found myself watching the likes of Charmaine Webster, Joseph Howard, and my roommate Milton Keys. Uh, as a normal practice on YouTube, you find yourself trapped watching video after video after video. And before I knew it, I had known who Brittany Steffen was, Andrew Wellman, and Amy Violet. So as I paid my registration fee, the $25, I called my friend Art Gordon, who's AOP 12, and told him I wanted to go to this preaching festival. He informed me that he was going, and he even offered me a ride. So before he even hung up the phone, he said, Jeremy, I know you got something, just bring it. And, and secretly, I wondered, how did he know this, right? For the longest time, I found comfort and safety and refuge in this um, preaching aspirant class at my church. It was my opportunity to hide my passion for preaching um, without the pressure of accepting the call. So he was right. So I prepared. And I took a ride up to South Hamilton, which was 15 minutes from my alma mater, Salem State College in Salem, Massachusetts. And I sat amongst a cohort of culturally diverse preachers. I opened with God's Minute by Benjamin Elijah Mays. I've only but a minute, only 60 seconds in it, forced upon me, can't refuse it, didn't seek it, didn't choose it. But it was up, from, up to me to use it. And in what seemed like a New York Minute, I had preached, heard other preachers, and now my name was in a raffle for this scholarship. The first name was called, and it was my good friend, Michael Bradley, and the second name that was called was mine. And next thing you know, I was on a plane here to Lexington, Kentucky, and all I could think to myself was, my next year is now this year. And before I knew it, I had gotten a call from my pastor, and he had handed me the keys to be the youth minister at my church. And for the last five to 10 years that I had been running from my call, everything seemed to come together. And at the very beginning of it was an AOP preacher. I ended up rooming with an AO, another AOP preacher, and now I'm here amongst a whole bunch of other AOP preachers. So to Dr. Moody and all of those who had the vision and the contributors, uh, thank you for making my next year this year. Thank you.